So right now in the Southern Hemisphere, we are undergoing change, and that is the change of seasons. In the Northern Hemisphere right now, your trees should be doing what my trees are doing right now, spring blossoms. However, the timing is a little bit off and trees, especially apples, pears, stone fruit should not be fruiting or setting flowers in autumn because they're about to go dormant. However, this is something that does happen. And I wanna show you why it does that and also some of the things you can do just to save a little bit of energy so that your tree doesn't spend all the energy putting out flowers that are never gonna turn into fruit and in any case, it's about to go into dormancy. So if your apple or pear or stone fruit tree is flowering at the wrong time, stay tuned because I'm gonna give you some insights into what you should and also what you should not be doing. So right over here, here's a cluster of flowers. The front flower is already fully pollinated. It's got a little bump at the back, meaning there's a baby apple. That is also called the king bloom. It's the very first bloom that comes out. And some farmers will tell you that is going to be your biggest apple. A lot of orchards, they come in and they remove the other flowers just to keep the king blossom. Nonetheless, this is a fruiting spur. And the spur on this apple has gone to flower. And if I look at the spurs all along the tree, they're all silvering. And in springtime, the silvering of the spurs is an indicator that they're about to go to flower. So why is this tree flowering basically in autumn? Because we are one week away from autumn. Well, here in South Africa, probably all over the Southern Hemisphere, we get pretty heat, pretty hectic heat. And this year, the summer has been very, very hot. Here where I am, I've spoken to some locals and it's been unseasonably hot. It's been almost 40 degrees for weeks on end with very high humidity. And what happens, this is why your trees go into late flowering, is the heat basically sends your trees into dormancy. When it gets so hot, the tree goes dormant and it stops growing. You can actually see it on the leaves themselves. You're not getting any more rapid growth. And here we're starting to see a whole bunch of new growth come out and we're at the end of the season. So this tree is almost waking up. But the growth is okay, but the flowering is not because we are heading into, into the winter season. And as you can see here, this tree is already losing its leaves. There's some yellowing of the leaves and they're falling off. So we are actively in, even in a vegetative state, the tree is transitioning into dormancy. So why we don't want this is it is taking a lot of energy away from the tree and we would much rather have the energy for the blossoms be stored and going into spring blossoming which is going to give us our summer apples to put it into perspective february march here in the southern hemisphere is when we should be harvesting apples it's march and the apple is flowering so you can see the seasons in this tree is completely messed up just because of the heat that we've been having. So why we don't want our trees to go into blossom now is simply because it's a waste of energy. It's not gonna do anything to your tree from a, from a fruiting point of view. If these pollinate, get pollinated and you do get fruit, they're gonna fall off during dormancy in any case. So it's not like you're going to get another flush of apples. They're not gonna ripen during the winter dormancy. So. There is absolutely no point in keeping your blossoms even though they look pretty and you might just cling on to that little bit of hope that you might get some more apples unfortunately you won't so that's why you'll find your trees are going into dormancy stress because of weather stress because of something else and then there's that shift into an ideal climate where it's cooler there's a lot more moisture the trees suddenly wake up oh seasons have changed put out blossoms, put out growth, but ultimately in a couple of weeks time, it's gonna go fully back to sleep. Now we know why this tree has put on some flowers, but what are we going to do about it? Well, let's start with what we are not going to be doing. And please, please take this advice. This is 
a spur, a fruiting spur. And based on the position of the branch, it's very much horizontal, which promotes fruit and flowering. I've got a video that I'll tag for you that explains the angles of branches on apples and pears and how the angles of the branch influence vegetative growth or flowering and fruiting. This one is completely horizontal, which means producing flowers. What you do not want to do is at the base of the flowers, that is where the fruiting spur is. You do not want to come and cut that off because then what you're doing is you are discouraging any potential spring flowering you're going to get from this fruiting spur. You're going to stimulate the vegetative buds further on and you're going to get growth coming out of here rather than fruiting over here. The other tree that I have, which is uh, early red, that one has a fruiting spur on the trunk. Now that spur is going to keep producing fruits year on year and it's most certainly not something that you want to come in and cut. Once you cut, you're going to start the whole process of growing a little branch and then getting the, the back budding to, to a fruiting spur. So all you want to do, very, very simply, is you can even do it one by one. Just take them, take your fingernail, just at the bottom of where the little apple would be, and you just break it off. And there you have a beautiful little blossom. And that's all. Just break the blossoms off, leave, you'll see here, leave the little stalk the stalk will die off naturally but then what's happening is you keep you are keeping the spur the fruiting spur intact you're not damaging it all and you're just simply removing the energy sapping part of the flower and that's all that you need to do so that's your do's and your don'ts but in essence don't get too worried about it but also don't leave it because it's unnecessary energy your tree will be spending on something that's never ever going to give you what you want or need from it at this point in the year. So if you got any value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my journey so you can see what this apple tree is gonna be doing in the springtime when it's meant to be flowering. And hopefully you get to see the amazing crop of Anna apples that it's gonna be putting on. Also, please drop me any comments if you've experienced late flowering on your apple tree, because I'd love to hear from you and what you did. But in essence, I hope that you now know a little bit more about apple trees that are flowering late in the season or flowering at the wrong time, what to look for and what you should and also should not be doing. Until next time, happy growing.